in, in, in right now to uh, make sure that everybody's getting ready. And then um, after that, I'll be going back home, trying to rest, spend time with the family, train my kids, and then uh, headed back in the evening again for more practice. This is the route I always take every day. Drive this route twice a day, minimum. Ready, boys? <coughs> How are you, Philip? What's up, Robbie? How are you, good? Thank you, coach. No problem. Let's go. <coughs> um, Tarek, there's no wrestling tonight at uh, Victor's? No. What are you doing tonight? You're going to come here? Okay, we're going to fence wrestle maybe if you feel good. You guys start gearing up. Let's go. You know, I always tell the guys, you're not going to play golf. This is a fight we're preparing for. So my job is to get you in and out without a scratch and with a win. That's my ultimate goal. That's the most efficient trainer. So when I come in here, I try not to waste one minute. And the guys can handle, they are pros. I tell my fighters, when you go in a fight, there's no safety net. Yeah, it's good. This one. That was better. That one was better. That was good. Yeah. You have to make it more smooth now with reps. You back up. If you make a mistake, the guy's going to try to capitalize on you. So when I'm here, I'm here for success. I'm here for making these guys the best they, they can be. And they want it because they know what they're getting into. Yeah, You don't get tired of sparring, so. I, I always no, try to push it. my spars. Yeah. Like uh, before, like I used to, I used to worry about getting tired. But now I just push from round one. I push. Uh, yeah. Find my fitness. Yeah, push. it works for you. It works for you. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Whoa! Wow! Good job. Good job, Duff. That was beautiful. Fantastic. Definitely having kids changes things, you know. I, it's definitely a full-time job. I got three kids. I have an amazing wife who helps me tremendously, so for, it makes it a lot easier. But <laughs> the thing was with kids, they need a lot of attention. So even though, you know, you have help, like I have my, my parents, for instance, they help me tremendously with the kids. But I also have to spend time with them, right? Or else I'm gonna grow up and they're gonna feel like they're strangers to me. How about we have a picnic today instead of training? Nope. Huh? Nope. Drink some lemonade, make some sandwiches? Nope. What would you rather do? Train. Train? Good answer. Both my sons love Rambo. They absolutely love Rambo. We actually have an ongoing debate of who would win in a fight between me and Rambo. And they're, they're hard set on Rambo. You know, they're like, oh, Rambo's gonna win. Tell everybody, who's stronger, me or Rambo? Rambo. Rambo! <laughs> Rambo stronger. Rambo. I say Rambo. <laughs> One day I took them to the gym and I'm like, okay, ask everybody here now who they think is gonna win. And like, so they started asking everybody, who would win, my dad or Rambo? And everybody's like, your dad, of course. Easy, easy fight, easy fight for your dad. So they were like kind of shocked. And I was just giving them the old, I told you so, I told you so. You know I already beat up Rambo once upon a time. No. Yeah, we were a party at the same time, we crossed paths. What? I spilled my drink, so I beat him up. Rambo buy you I made him buy me five new drinks. Five new After I beat him up. I have a daughter as well. My favorite is her nickname, that's what I call her. My favorite. This one is my favorite. Her name is Alisa. It's my favorite. Hi, hello. Say hello. Hi. Hi. Hmm? Hello, hello. She's everybody's favorite, so my sons don't mind I call her that. Relationships with your father and daughter is a little bit different. You know, you you uh, you have more of a soft spot, a little bit, I would say. And I think you have to have a daughter to know it. You know, I love my sons, of course, and I love all my kids really equally, of course, but it's a different relationship. Mother and son and father and daughter, they have a different relationship, I find. Oh, it's a it's a Can't say no to a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
one. Let it have one. Everybody can have one. Everybody can have one. Hey, hey, what's it? What? What's this mix? Candy, dates, ketchup. Please <laughs> my candy. Get, get over my candy. My See, to her, I can't say no. So she gets mad. With them now. A lot of the time I spend with my kids, it's training. So uh, I'm slowly grooming them to become good training partners and athletes themselves. So what we do is we train together. Um, today I didn't even train, just work today. Yeah? No. I did. No, you went outside. I don't play outside. outside. Let's set up a bed. Okay, how about we get the hurdles and do some jumps? Okay. You gotta go get the hurdles. Okay, oh, I gotta finish first. And you go get them. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> Tell the camera you're scared of the dark. Tell them. No. He's too scared to go in the basement by himself. No, no. Tell them. Uh, bye bye. Okay, so go then. Papa, I can go in the dark. Really? Yes. I'm like Batman? Put, I'm gonna just go put my socks. Hey, man, you want to decide? 100 push ups. One thing I really want my kids to do is get a black belt. But I really think black belt is the minimum requirement. Some people see it as like the ultimate achievement. I see it as the minimum requirement. Because if, when you're a black belt, to me, that means you can, you can work hard and you know how to think. You know, you know, how, to, you know how to solve a problem. You're a smart guy. You know, jiu-jitsu is a thinking man's game, you know. It's also a physical man's game. It's the blend of both. Hey, yeah, man, bump and, bump and lift. Bump and lift. Escape. Good. I see health and fitness and martial arts like the way, same way I see going to school and learning science and math, you know. Like, what if your son told you, I don't want to learn math? Well, you'd be like, son, you need it for your life, you know. You need, you need a certain level of math, minimum. I see martial arts training as another type of education. It's a very important one because if one day somebody attacks you, assaults you or whatnot, <clears throat> you know, you, you taught me how to, how to count, you taught me how to read, but you didn't teach me how to defend myself. So I would say my caretakers didn't complete my, my, uh, my education. I think it's a crucial part of education. Lock on your feet, on your feet, standing. Let me see, you locked your hands? Ayman, why do we call it a lock double? Because you lock your hands. Standing up, please. Wrestle. Nice, stay on your toes, on your toes, on your toes. Drive with your toes, on your toes. Go, 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 go. Yes, good job. Break, break, that was awesome. Break. My pants. Good job. <laughs> You know, I read a lot of books on psychology, you know, and, and in psychology they have a concept of the emperor child. So certain, some children, when they're born, they're put on a pedestal and their parents basically almost worship them. So the child becomes an emperor because anything the child wants, he gets. So you offer the child the banana and he tells you he doesn't want the banana, he wants the peach. And then you offer him the peach, he doesn't want the peach, he now wants the banana. Then you offer him the banana, he doesn't want the banana, he wants it. You gave that child so much power that he doesn't have the wisdom to wield this much power. So he has two adults that are bowing to him, they will do anything he wants, take him anywhere he wants. So the child becomes miserable. You think about all the great emperors that had too much power and they, they became psychotic because of the power. You're doing that to the child. You know, I, I think what modern uh, child psychologists say today is, look, give a child a set number of choices. You know? Tell him you can have the banana, you can have the peach, or there's nothing else then let him choose. There has to be a degree of choice, but not ultimate choice, because that's just too much responsibility. I like to give my children choices, you know. You can either do, I sometimes I tell them, we can do a lot of training or a lot, a lot of training. Which one do you guys want to do? It's choices. Okay, what next? I'm done. You're done. That's it, high five. You're done. Okay. I'm doing invisible. Anybody want to dare challenge me? Okay. It's a wrestling match? It broke my hand! I think your top is the strongest. <laughs> Who's stronger, me or Rambo? You, you, you. Who? You, 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 Say it to the camera. You, you, you. Who, who's the strongest? <laughs> me or Rambo? My pop. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, my sons are like my best buds, you know? We, uh, we go back and forth. We're kind of like... It's almost like a fraternity at my house. Tell the camera who's stronger. You. Me or Rambo? <laughs> Stronger. <laughs> Under no coercion, you admit. I said in front of everybody, I'm stronger. So now it's over. I can play forever now. He's not stronger. If training is a habit, you don't really have any resistance to it. Like for instance, I'm going to the gym right now. I have no second thoughts of whether I feel like it's a habit for me. I, I've done this so much. I've built up to this level of 
volume of training, this vol- for me, it's just a normal day. I'm not even thinking about, you know, it's just my routine. It's, it's almost automatic. Hey guys, we're, uh, we're shooting some footage today, so if you don't want your face seen, or you're wanted by the FBI or something, or you're a deadbeat dad and you, want, you don't want nobody to collect checks from you, let the camera guy know and he'll, he'll, he won't put it towards you, okay? All right guys, today we're gonna warm up with some floor rolling. Let's spread out and get ready, okay, let's go. Where I'm here, look, look how I'm going on my shoulder. Whereas you're going like this, or you're going like this. You're going in the vertical guard, it's not a vertical guard. I'm like this. Here. I'm up on my shoulder, not in vertical guard. You okay? Yeah. Keep that in mind, boys. Ready, guys? Time! Man, I'm drained today. I can't wrestle one, one. I can't, I can't wrestle more two rounds. I'm drained. Oof. Season guys, they stay on the on the fence. Of course, they get start like to get more and more tired, so the less season guys get a chance to score on them. in the world and brainwash them number one feel us so feel us talk here brainwash everybody that's yeah he brainwash all the people and the best trainer in the world <laughs> mma the best trainer in the world tahabi that's it yeah back to training let's go back to training 